thought leaders, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It has been incumbent upon me to speak not only about New India, but also in consonance with my understanding of the term Hindutva. When I received this unique invitation from the India Today group, little did I know that I should read the finer print and see the word Hindutva inserted post my acceptance of a speech on New India. But then what better clickbait for a sober conclave than to have the only non-minority minister as Minister of Minority Affairs. For years on end, in fact, if we reflect on the decade called the 1970s, came a unique economic slur called the Hindu rate of growth. And when one looked at the very premise of why such an economic slur was thrust upon a religion, one was told that the Hindu way of life is stagnant, that the Hindu of way of life was content, that the Hindu way of life is far from reform and is in desperate need of it. And that is why those who find no relevance in New India for the word Hindu, one wants to just reflect briefly before, as the opening film said, you are here today for inspiration and interrogation. So while I submit myself to Preeti's interrogation post my opening remarks, what is my way of life? My way of life speaks of Sarva Dharma Sambhava, that all religions, all ways of lives, all communities, may they prosper. And on this path of prosperity, my way of life gives the country a Pradhan Sevak. That is the Pradhan Sevak who looks at prosperity from a new premise. He looks at 480 million Indians bereft of financial services and initiates a program called Jandhan Yojana, where for the first time in seven decades of our independence, the poor have access to banks, so much so that when this Pradhan Sevak speaks about the dignity of women, he speaks about the need to fulfill their daily challenges with a solution called a toilet. That is why my way of life gives us a Pradhan Sevak who builds 110 million individual toilets for every household in India. What does my way of life give my country? My way of life gives a Pradhan Sevak who believes in sarve bhavantu sukhina, sarve santu niramaya, that may all be happy and may all be bereft of illness. And that is why the Pradhan Sevak begins an ambitious healthcare plan called Ayushman Bharat, wherein 100 million families received medical support in over 26,000 hospitals across the country for 1,300 diseases, and five lakh rupees worth of medical support is much for a family in need. What does my way of life give the nation? It gives a Pradhan Sevak who gives a clarion call, not only for digital India, thereby ensuring that 40 million Indians are digitally made literate. It also gives the nation a Pradhan Sevak who engineers a financial digital enterprise called the UPI, which only last year has an attribution of transactions worth 126 lakh crore rupees. What does my way of life give to my nation? It gives to my nation a Pradhan Sevak who believes that at the very core of India's diplomacy lies India's interests. That while we deliberate, we debate, we discuss, we reciprocate with love challenges that the world faces, especially in the light of a pandemic, my way of life gives India Pradhan Sevak, who believes in vaccine maitri and ensures that in the pandemic, 160 nations across the world receive pharmacological support when they are in dire need. My way of life gives the nation a Pradhan Sevak who does not profit from the misery brought upon by the pandemic. And that is why today, before I subjugate myself to a minor interrogation, and onwards I go to Parliament, 
What does my way of life give to my country, my civilization? As a part of my civilizational history, when we speak of our motherland, was a man who was given an offer of a nation bedecked with gold. It was spoils of victory. And when Lord Ram was told that here, now Lanka is yours, Lord Ram said, Janani Janma Bhumischa, Swarga Dapi Gariyasi, that I don't want this spoils of victory, for my Janani Janma Bhumi, my motherland, is greater than all heavens that I can receive. My way of life gives a Pradhan Sevak who resolutely stands with the future of India and not an entity that at the feet of our colonial past begs for political mercy. So ladies and gentlemen, for your courtesies and for your reflection, may I leave you with the words of Swami Vivekananda, who when he spoke about India and our way of life, he said, she is awakening this motherland of ours from her deep, long sleep. No one can desist her anymore. Never is she going to sleep anymore. No outward power can hold her back anymore, for the infinite giant is rising to her feet. New India, ladies and gentlemen, is rising to her feet.